Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Let's do a makeup look. This is my everyday, super quick, very easy. I know it may look involved. I swear you can do this in 10 minutes tops. Throw on some concealer, your bronzer, your blush, your lips, your mascara, a little brow. Let's go. And it stays all day. This is gonna stay for you all day. I'm here in my bathroom, so don't mind that, but I hope you guys really enjoy this video. Let's just get right into the video. Welcome to my bathroom. We're gonna do my everyday makeup I've been loving and we're gonna use all Sephora products because the Sephora sale. And I'll be linking everything down below so you can shop easily. We're gonna start with some primer. This is the Refi Glow and Sculpt Primer. You just run this along your cheekbones and it really kind of gives you a nice massage. This also gives me the most beautiful glow underneath my makeup and my makeup stays all day. I tested this makeup yesterday. I've actually been testing it a ton, but I love this. I love just like a beautiful radiant glow on my skin. So, these are the glow screens and they are in shades. One is golden hour and one is sunrise. So I'm just gonna go with the lighter shade here and then the darker shade. I love this refi brush. Go ahead, look at the glow. I literally love this. I'm gonna take the darker shade, put on my neck. Love sunscreen on the neck and plus a glow. Like you can never go wrong. What I also love is this L'Oreal Lumi Glow or Glotion. Okay, watch. This is like, dude, glass skin. Can't make this up. I've been keeping it super simple. I love this for foundation. House Labs Light Medium Golden. They just go like this, like four. You'd be like, why don't you just wear foundation? But I like, I like this, cause I'll show you. I go like under my eye a little. That's what I do. I just got this, I fell in love. This is the Boing Bright On Concealer in Nectarine. And I go right here, here on my nose a little. And then I'll just go over these little areas just because this kind of oxidizes and gets a little dark. I'll just take a fluffy brush and I'll just like buff it out. It gives me a, such a nice natural color. And I don't do much coverage on my forehead. I kind of just drag any residue up because I did do the tinted sunscreen, the best brush. This is the Hourglass foundation brush. I just like to press the concealer up and out like that. Some Kosas powder. I'm just gonna go tightly under the eye. Just. And over my eye, just to set everything. I recently got this Laura Mercier highlighter in 01, but it's a matte, a matte radiance baked powder. So I'm going to, oh, it's like really, okay. I really wanted like a radiant under eye, but I'm just gonna lightly lightly put in my under eye. House Labs Neutral Peach Bio Blurring Loose Setting Powder. Love the sound of that. This is also a clean beauty product. I'm just gonna go over so it's not too iridescent-y. And then I'll just set in between my brows. Hourglass Bronzing Palette. This is in the light shade, the Hourglass Brush. I'll just go in this like this. And sorry, my windows are open if you can hear crazy stuff outside. It is Coachella week in LA and it's crazy. I'm just gonna bronze. That like my tan is all connected. Let's get into eyes. My two favorite palettes. So, so, so pretty. This is the Kosas Under, Undressed. Makeup by Mario. I just got this in the Sephora sale. So pretty. I'm gonna use it. I'm gonna use it to just like lightly contour my nose and my eye area. So this light brown color is, and it's matte. So I'm gonna go at the beginning of my brow and then down the start of my nose. And then I'm just gonna kinda like all over my lid. 
And then I'm just gonna do the other side. So I'm just gonna go like up here and then I'll just like drag it down that area. I'm just gonna take this like middle brown shade and I'm just gonna go like on the lid and then this lighter shade like that. And I'm gonna go right beginning of my eye. Like very easy, very simple. But obviously with this palette you can do so much. I'm actually going to a wedding this weekend and this is the only palette I'm taking and I'm gonna do a smoky, sultry, sexy eye. Let's do our eyebrows. Refi Clear Brow Gel is my shit. So I'm just gonna brush up my brows in the front. I really like to brush them up to brush them down. I like to flick out the front part of my brows. I feel like it gives such a bushy, youthful, beautiful look. I'm obsessed with it. I cannot stop. And to darken my brows, I'm taking the Precisely My Brow Wax. This is in a color by Benefit, the color number six. So it's just gonna, ooh, it's just bringing some darkness to the brow. And then I'm gonna take, this is my five, Precisely My Brow Detailer in number five by Benefit. I am in love with this. I'm just gonna go and draw little hairs. Look, I split my lip. I need to drink more water. I've also been doing so many matte lips and matte lip stains. I just love how you can get every detail of your brows without having your brows look too overdone and like you put a bunch of product in them. I really like this natural look. Let's do some blush. I have this Charlotte Tilbury wand. I take this Pat McGrath blush brush and I just start, and I start inwards because this is matte, so this will set a little bit more matte here. I don't wanna put a shimmery blush here personally because then you can see more texture, things like that on the center of your face, and I normally like to stay a little more matte. The other side, and it's spring, almost summer, so I kinda like to go a little bit more like fun and fresh. I also like to take some up here, any leftover. This Dibs blush, this is in the shade Spice Gal. It's so pretty. I'm just gonna go over that area and kind of set it. So it gives like a highlight. I don't wanna focus it here. I'm gonna focus it on the edge of my face. So it just gives that glow. And I like that this is powdery, so it won't explode in my bag. Sometimes when I have liquid blushes that are like super liquid, they explode and you're wasting money. I still like them though, but this is nice too. This Ilia blush, I didn't even see it in my bag. This is in Dear Ruby. I'm actually gonna put this on over that. This is like the red strawberry blush that everyone tries to get in the summer. I like how it gives like a sunburn type of look. Let's curl my lashes. Um, bleh. I do 15 crunches very fast and you can already see, look how cute my lashes look. Okay, Lash Food Collagen Primer. We're gonna coat the, ooh, the lashes. Like nothing too serious. Lancome's mascaras, I love benefits. They're real, unreal. One of my ride or dies and this Lancome hypnosis drama. Let me show you. And I'm currently using the Ordinary Lash and Brow Serum. So I'll do two coats. I'll come back to that side. We'll do this side. What I like to do when I'm going in with my second coat, I really like to focus on the ends and pull the lashes out. It just gives this like butterfly effect, I like to call it. I don't really know how else I would call that, but it gives like a very uh, dreamy look. For those of you who've been watching my channel for a while, you would have known I fell in love with Perfect Nude Lip Liner from Marc Jacobs. It lasted all day. It was absolutely stunning and they got rid of their beauty line. So I think I have found, she's not the same, but she is absolutely incredible. This is the Refi Fawn color. It's so stupid pretty. It's so, so pretty on the lips. So I'm just gonna go. And this does not move, I'm going to lunch. And this will stay on 
the entire time. And I like to just like dab it out and then you take the setter and you run it over the lip like so. One of my new favorites, this is the Urban Decay All Nighter Ultra Matte. Now I know it says ultra matte, but it keeps your face how you put it on and then it leaves it there. It doesn't make you look like drywall. So yeah, I'm gonna shake this because there's clay in this and I'm gonna go right down the center of my face because I want this to be more matte. Just like that. House Labs Highlighter Iridescent is one of my favorite things ever. So I'm just going like this and I'm just gonna go at the tip of my nose and then let's highlight. Cause it's not like too, it's not too crazy. Okay, like the best highlighter. I love it. Okay, because I'm extra, I'm taking this Fenty Beauty How Many Carrots Diamond Balm, Diamond Balm. And I'm gonna run my finger and I'm just gonna go right here. Stop, stop, stop it. And then you know what? You know what I'm gonna do. Take a little brush. Look how like just, this is so pretty. I'm gonna go right at the corner. For a little lip moisture, this is the YSL number 15 over this. Let's jump into hair. Okay, you guys. I treated myself for the sale, because of the sale, to the Dyson Airwrap. You can literally switch the direction. Do you know that I had the one where you take off for the different directions? I gave that one away, so I treated myself to the new one because it was 20% off. I could not justify spending any more than that. But when I tell you, this is an everyday 365 use, like object, like I, I, I'm obsessed. I can do a whole tutorial because this is brand new, but I just got some new hair in today. I did some extensions just because I wanted fullness and everything and then I'm gonna go back to natural, but switch the direction. Just pull it out. Actually, we're gonna go this way. And yeah. I just pinned these up because it just gives me more volume up at the top of my head. Also what I like to do is, this is the volume powder from Orbe. And I'll go just along here and it gives just like a nice texture. So it's already giving me volume. More full volume spray. This is from Living Proof. I love this volume spray. It like gives me so much life. Okay, so I'll show you guys my hair. I think it looks so cute. It's a little messy, but I think it looks really, really good. I love it. <laughs> we wanna smell good. Sol de Janeiro deodorant. You guys, this deodorant is the best deodorant I've ever used. Oh my God, it's so good. You also wanna smell good. I'm a vanilla girl, so I have these scents that I got from Sephora. I have not tried either of them, so let's try it. This is Nest Madagascar Vanilla. Let's see. Oh, it's a roller. Oh, it smells good. Okay. And then this is the Nette, the vanilla. And this one's a spray. Oh. Oh, it kind of is like sandalwood with vanilla. Hmm. I wanted something a little warmer. Okay. Well, we'll let this sit. My favorite is the Amber Vanilla from Laura Mercier. I'll probably spray a little of that before I head out the door. This is my final look, you guys. I hope you loved this video. I filmed this on my iPhone, so let me know what you think. But I think the makeup came out so cute. This is just like my everyday, throw it together. It always looks good, it's easy, and it's a little less glam than my last one that I did where it's like an everyday look. So let me know if you guys like this and I'll see you guys in my next video. It's late at night.